What is going on guys, we are back with more World Cup, we got Lefties playing for Team France, more Bali aka Lysergy playing for US West, the score should be um, 3 and 2, I think for US West at the moment, and uh, Lefties bring a team that looks like Auras, um, the only difference is Mega Mole was banned in Auras, I don't remember if it was banned for all of Auras or only for most of Auras, I think it was banned for all of Auras, I don't remember, but yeah, what stands out he brings this, <laughs> Chandelure. Mega Scissor team probably. So it's gonna be um like we've seen this combination a lot. The Zapdos might be the three attack through set, and the scissor might be the defogger. And I'm thinking this is Scarf Greninja or I think Scarf Channel was a bit weird and it doesn't really it's not really fast enough, I think it's gonna be Scarf Grin, but we'll see. And on lefty side, um, Mega Mowile. Scarf Lady or Scarf Kelt, probably Z Move Kirum, Assault Vest Magnezone, or Rox Lando or Rox Mowile, but I'm thinking Rox Lando. Yeah, kinda looks like a team that lefties build in Auras. I think that one had Mega Metagross and uh, one other one, that was like two months different. It hey, does you turn out with DC uh, protein, so I'm pretty sure that's a scarf. That I think does a lot, it's a life orb. He might have HP fire. Um, nah, he probably doesn't have HP fire, he has a magnus onto trap scissor. If you have a magnus onto trap scissor, you're probably not gonna be carrying HP fire on your other Pokemon unless you wanna double lure it in for some reason, <laughs> which makes not that much sense. Because, like, it has magnet, magnet pull, right? To trap steel taps. So, it does show life orb in the Q-Room, so he's not Z move on this, so. That makes me think that it's either um, like one of these two, one of these two is a Scarver. Like I said, the one that is not the Scarver could be the Z Move one, or the Landros could also be Z Move. It can like Z Move Landros can still carry Stellar Fox. He does go for Uta, knowing that it probably won't have HP Fire when he has a Magnus Zone, so that was a pretty much fine play. Like he wasn't having, like he wasn't gonna have HP Fire and Bob the Scissor there that specific turn. So you turns out into this uh, Tangrowth. Is this AV or Helmet? It, t it depends a little bit on his Landris, but yeah, like here, let's search he has these three potential Z move users. But I'm thinking this is gonna be lefties uh, Zapdos. This is either gonna be um, Z move Chandelure or Z move Landris. I'm not really sure about that yet. You do see he goes for Earthquake, so it's probably AV Tangrowth. Um, you don't really see Earthquake on Rocky Helmet that much. Uh, like on Rocky Helmet, you usually see like Knockoff, Sleep Powder, Hidden Power Ice, and then Giga Drain. Uh, and sometimes you see Sludge Bomb too, and that one's the ultimate TDK mate. And on AV you just see four attacks, obviously, because you can't because you can't use Sleep Power on Leech Seed and stuff like that. Um, I could see Lefties going for Roost here, predicting a switch. He does go for Roost. Does he go for Knockoff? He does go for Knockoff. Gets rid of the Life Orb. Which was a fine play by, by um, Lysergic because he was living any hit from full and he was most likely like he was potentially going for like something like fusion bolt but it didn't scissor switch I completely understand why he knocked off like it did 58 so with life over would have done like maybe 80 but it does Ruth expecting a switch and he's just gonna u-turn again I don't think there's a point in roosting and letting the magnezone trap you as he's probably okay, just goes back Kelio. He's not going into Landers, so like if he was Hamlet Landers, he could go into Landers. So that kind of makes me think that he could be Z move on the uh, Landers. I also want to calc uh, Scizor as 18 to Kelio. We have that information, so we can figure out if the um, Kelio is a minus defense nature. You think that's 15 to 18, so we don't know that yet to confirm if it's minus defense. It could still be neutral nature. Um, but yeah, he's just gonna always go Nikura, I assume, on the Tangle, since it already got rid of the uh, Life Orb, it can't really do anything to the Cure anymore, unless it's kept, unless it's gonna be packing Rock Slide, which is not gonna be the case, because he already showed off Quick Knockoff and Giga Drain, so his last move is gonna be Hidden Power Ice, unless he wants to rely on Landris and Scissor to like check Zygarde, but I assume it's gonna be more offensive Lando, and this is his HP Ice thing, check for Zygarde. Oh yeah, the last time he off -picked. Potentially break in the mobile to come in when the QM came in. Mm -mm -mm. So, like, he's. 
able to live uh, like any one hit, I assume, with this tank growth. But is it worth it to let the tank growth get really low? Tank growth is his main check to kill you, so I probably wouldn't let this get too too low. But the thing is, he doesn't have the best switches. I mean, yeah, he has a chandelure, but Polaro is gonna do a lot if the chandelure is offensive, which is pro like it's, it's obviously gonna be offensive, I think. Like, uh, Krang, okay, Benga um, is on the same team, I think, yeah, than him. I like him, I mean. And he also used Channel last week, and I think it was Choice Back, so it was really cool to see. But he goes for Hidden Power, we see it's Hidden Power Fire, so it's not Hidden Power Ice, well. So he's trying to snipe, um, switch, and he's trying to snipe stuff like Ferrothorn that likes to come in on Tangrus and Scizor. So yeah, the sky I've controlled U-turn, it's probably gonna be U-turn Ice Beam Rock Slide and then either Gunk Shot or Spikes. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if he's gonna be packing Spikes because he's like, kinda tempted to defog a lot with like two months weak to Stealth Rocks. <coughs> so I don't know if uh, Scarf Spikes makes that much sense on his team. He can like just fire off a Draco Meteor here. I mean, if it's Choice Scarf, the Scissor is gonna be able to switch into that. But if it's like some damage boost item, you can potentially two kill this is. Um, like Specs, Life Orb. I'm not sure if Life Orb would kill. But the thing's like, if he might, if he might also carry HP Fire on the Lottie. It's like not really seen that much. I don't think he will carry it. But what I'm thinking here is if he doesn't have a move to touch the scissor, he might double out. Yeah, this is always the mind game for my body. Yeah, he's probably not going to be packing. I was talking about HP Fire, but he's probably not going to be packing HP Fire, obviously. I don't know why I always, like, talk about that potential. So there was, like, the option that he could double into Magnezone is what I meant to say. But he did not do it. He went from Dragon type to Dragon type. And he did just go for off power Britney U turn. So there's a crude which is a bit annoying for lefties. It's does 80 uh, 48. Yeah, that the off power brings the scissor really low. So now the scissor can't really switch into Lottie or into Cure anymore. So you can go on a Greninja here and scatter through the potential rock slide and U-turn out. Because in the channel low, so maybe he's now he only should scarf Grin, right? I don't think this is scarf. I mean he's just gonna click the fire move here, it's not like he has good resists. I mean, he can also, if he specs, he can also click the ghost move. Not like Kyurem is gonna live that. Um, he might have figured out if the Kyurem is like, um, plus in a attacking or special attacking nature instead of speed. So he might be timid and be able to outspeed this Kyurem if he's like, um, either Z move or choice specs. Because I don't think he's gonna be Scarf when he already should, uh, the, the user on Granite is probably most likely gonna be Scarf. <coughs> I mean, if he's faster than the Kyurem and he's like specs, he can definitely click Shadow Ball. Like, I'm just thinking that he sh like he's definitely timid on his Chandelure. I'm just not sure if he's even for specs. Oh, he could also be sub combined. Oh, which is an interesting option. I haven't thought about that yet. <laughs> I mean, I don't have information. We don't have information yet about the Landris from mob side. Do we have information? I don't think we have. Is 
like lefties doesn't have switch in that all. Oh yeah, I just realized his nickname. <laughs> Cause Padlop was making a comment about the nickname and it smoked his chat and was like what? <laughs> yeah, it's obviously named after Sia. The song Chandelier, you guys probably know it. Like I don't know. I don't have to talk about it. The sex of his Morwal. I'm just thinking that specs, the way this has been played and like Morwal just dropped. And he's gonna be bringing out his Kelio or all his... Yeah, I think he's gonna be bringing out his Kelio here. But this... Damn, this channel is a threat. It doesn't come in on that much. I think the only other thing that it comes in, other than the QM, if it really outspeeds the QM, is... Uh, potentially the ma yeah, the Magnuson, obviously. So it's still worth for Mob to obviously save this Chandelure, so I think... Lefties is gonna go into something like Kelly to scare us out. Okay, Landris. This makes me think that he's potentially a uh, max speed Landris. Which would be able to outrun this. And I'm pretty sure that like, Lefties is gonna make some sort of aggressive play here because the mob body is definitely saving this because it's still a threat, like I said. Like, he's not staying in here. I mean, you know, mob body is wild. He might stay in. Like, he's, he makes like aggressive plays sometimes. So I'm not sure actually, but I think he will switch out, like he should switch out. I mean, you can also see Lefty's just firing off the Z-move if, if he has it. Yeah, he, ju well, he just stays in. Like, like like I was saying, like I was thinking Lefty's would make an aggressive play there. Like I was thinking aggressive play as maybe going for rocks, pretty thing to switch. Or then I was thinking maybe he could just go for a Z-move that hits everything. But he just showed U-turn which makes me think he doesn't have a Z-move on this. So I'm thinking he's Z-move Ladi at this point because... I, I, we don't know yet, he could also be Z-move killed. But I'm not thinking the land is a Z-move. I haven't seen Landers with U-turn with Z-move. Like most of the time it's defensive Lando. I'm thinking it's max HP Landers, Shadow Bullet at 74. I'm thinking it's uh, Specs Chandelure. Like from what we have seen so far. At first I wasn't sure. I mean, yeah, Mob been making aggressive plays, like I think last week he also made an aggressive play. He stayed in on a Swampert, I think, with a Swampert on the Tangros and went for rocks and Tangros, I think, went for Hidden Power or switched out or something, I don't remember, but they definitely didn't go for Giga Train. Like, I know he he was able to, like, he, I know that he was he's capable of making aggressive plays, I think he predicted either rocks or U-turn. <laughs> but, well... Like I knew that Chandler was a, was a threat, but like I guess he was just in Lefty's head there. Dang. And he just drops a Draco. Um, does a good chunk to the uh, to the Tangles. I'm gonna call if it's a scarf damage. I think that's just a non-damage boosting item damage. Um, pretty sure specs would do more, right? Uh, Scarf versus a uh, tank grove. Uh, never mind. That is definitely choice specs. That is definitely choice specs. I don't know why my head calc was so off. Oh my lord! They did a lot. Oh, did he knock off the AV on this? He did not. not he did not not get rid of the AV. This has to be specs, right? I'm not calking anything wrong. Because in the f in the past when I was tired the the calc like was toying with me around like uh, the calc fucked me up once because I was running some calc and after the video I r r ran the same calc again and the damage was completely different even though I ch double checked everything but yeah I'm pretty sure that's specs damage yeah you can always go in the queue room on this and just go for roost. But Chen Lu comes back and it's gonna click probably a fire move this time as the QM is faster, so wow. I don't know why he brought this in the fast time. I don't know why he brought this in <laughs> the first time thinking that he's like faster than the QM. So probably Leftist is running plus speed nature on his QM and he was expecting Leftist to run like plus attacking nature or something, I'm not really sure. 
That was so weird because Shenelu, like that already did a lot of damage to Lefty's team, scared out of Skirm earlier. So if Lefty's knew about this, he could have saved himself a lot of trouble. But maybe the 8% that Landers did with u turn was necessary, so Kyurem could kill with off power. Not sure. <laughs> I mean, the best move that Gwen has to hit this is probably Rock Slide. Mm -mm -mm. So I think we're gonna see like a Magnus on Switch here from lefty side. Because Keldeo. I mean, yeah, either Keldeo or Magnus on. There's the low kick, so that was really smart going Keldeo. Low kick would have hit the Magnus on. I mean, you don't really see low kick on Scarf Gwen that much. It's actually said that I ran into the show in life. Which was like more of a fun set. Like U turn, low kick, gunk shot, Rock Slide. Like that's more like, I would, if I would run that, my, my friends would like say, what the fuck is that dog? Like that's not a set you should not run, that is what people tell me. Petlop told me like you should run Ice Beam. I did change it. It was more like a fun set, because uh, I was like running all out physical attack in Greninja. So yeah, even if the like the Grinja outspeeds the Kelly with Scarf, obviously even the Kelly with Scarf, but it cannot kill it with the next low kick. He is gonna go Tangros or, or Zapped as well. So this uh, is probably fast HPI Zapped, and it's gonna be able to pick off the Landers if the Landers stays in. I assume Leftis is just gonna bring in his Kyurem though. Um, he's not gonna psych off his Landers, he shouldn't. Um, he definitely shouldn't. Most of the time, just like I said earlier on these teams, they carry like offensive zap does when Defox Scizor. If you see these two months together, this was seen the first time, um, like an RMT that Obi made. That was um, used in SPL, and after that it was used a lot in the ladder. This was like um, when Bennett Zygat became more, popu more popular. The meta game has actually changed quite a bit since then. But he knows that Lefties wasn't gonna stay and goes in the Greninja. I mean, I still don't think Loki kills the Kyurem. But I guess Greninja is probably able to live a hit from the Kyurem and get rid of the Life Orb. So Greninja beats this one on one and can potentially U turn out, like it threatens this out. But it's not like lefties had switch ins anymore for like for low kick other than other than his Ladios and potentially Landers if it's defensive Landers, which um like I'm thinking it's defensive because he's showed U turn. But like he can definitely change it up, he doesn't have to go for low kick again. He can also have pack rock slide. He can also just U turn predicting his switch. But I can see lefties just staying in, potentially going for Roost to scout. What the Greninja locks itself into. Um, he should be able to level low kick, right? I'm just gonna put this Kyur Mage. I'm not sure if it's minus defense or minus speed death. Um, where's Greninja or you all out attacker? How much does low kick do? If it's not life orb. Just put some random berry there. Uh, 63 to 75 with no attack investment, but he might be running max attack. He did U-turn out and he went landless expecting a low kick slash U-turn. Probably, yeah. He bring out his own landers. We haven't seen Z-moves from both teams. This should be Z-move landless for sure from mob side. Would it be Crush, Connor Crush, or would it be Sky Strike? I mean, it could also be seen with Zapdos. Um, have we seen Zapdos activate his lefties yet or anything like that? I don't think we have because Zapdos is still at full. I'm thinking lefties might just have to sack his Landros here. 
because you can't really switch anything in and the thunder is pretty low and it also doesn't outspeed much and it gets uh, dies probably to bullet punch from scissor the only thing that outspeeds is the tank and if mob also has a slow lander then he could potentially outspeed this but I'm assuming this like I said this is uh, probably fast lander does save it goes in the magnet zone. I don't know if he predicted Stone Age or Connell Crush something like that. He just throws up the rocks. I thought he would have just attacked there because I don't know if it would have been worth it to take HP eyes to the face. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on with the aggressive plays every turn? The crit definitely sucked. But like what is going on with mobs offense aggressive plays? I mean, he knew that Lefties wasn't taking the Magnus Zone. I can respect that U turn play. He was probably just going to Magnus Zone to scout for a Z move. Either the Sky Strike or the Condor Crush. Magnus Zone resists both. So I do understand these uh, series of plays somewhat. Oh, did I say D series? I meant this series. Um, I hope that was correct English. But he, gets just, he just goes on the Scarf Grand, which is pretty much fine. Because even if, lef if Lefties brings up a matchup that he doesn't like, he will just U-turn out, like that mob body doesn't like. Mans will just Mans will just U-turn out of there, because Scarf Grand, you know, that speeds basically everything. Mm. Yeah, this is tough for Lefties. Yeah, I think... It's looking bleak. The Scourinja might just clean him up. Like, low kick might just sweep him. Like, not yet, because this can get up the Intimidate one more time, but like... Later on, if this comes in again, uh, it could potentially clean it up with low kick. Like, I don't see lefties counterplay to the Scourinja. just needs a little bit more chip damage you can get that by you turning and the hazards also up and he's also gonna time out Oof. Yeah, he decided to go learners switches into Kelt hoping that he can lift two hits with the intimidate but he just U turns and it's just the chip that he needed now to do land with us to rocks to Kelt is getting lower like everything is just getting to range from low kick for sure like for guaranteed pretty much like zone might need some more chip damage it's not in oko range but like zone also probably can't oko the greninja back but you might still uh, play around with t-build para so you're obviously gonna play it safe i mean mob has other mons in the back but i think like scarf grin is like his, his main thing that's like the safest thing that just wins him the game because like outspeeds everything pump does absolutely nothing Not sure if Lefties even had a Z move mon. Maybe a Z move minus on, but I was thinking it should be AV if I looked at the team at first. When I looked at the team at first. Or oh, he Z move on his U turn Lando. Um, I could probably figure out from the damage that Lefties Landros did and took if it did. If we did see that yet. Yeah, he's roosting this up so we can like eat hits from Gren, but like. I don't think lefties can win this one. I mean, he's doing his best with the roost to get as healthy as possible. How much does Loki do again to cure him? If it's uh, no attack, it's almost in range already. And if it's max attack, it's obviously gonna kill. And Scarf Grin, that is. So if depending on the mob set, if this is a roll, he's gonna U-turn first to bring this in range. 
Even though he might uh, Ruth pretty in the U turn. Yeah, he's probably just gonna go for a low kick here. Because it's not like the Kyurem can Oko the granny just needs the damage off. Yeah, like he should uh, tweet kill us as long as he doesn't get like parried by. Uh, actually, I don't think Fusion Bolt can parry. But like, as long as he doesn't get crit or something or frozen by Ice Beam, Mob should be fine here. Yeah, it's interesting. Maybe I just asked if he changed his name back to Mob or something like that. Oh, I'm about to change it back on Smogun. Wow. Because, like, I've seen him a lot playing on this account. Uh, I'm still gonna put, like, Surging in the title because it's, like, it's, like, shorter and then, like, I'm used to it. I got used to it. Analytic versus Gypsy, 9 hours and 30 minutes. Wow. Why do people do this to me? It's like 4 a.m. my time. I'm not gonna be able to record that. Hey, sex of the landers to the low kick. Goes into the zone, so the zone might be able to take one, yeah. But like I said, can't kill the Greninja back. Unless it's like crits or something, or it's like Z move. But Mob's not risking anything, there's the flash cannon. Which um, was potentially lefties predicting the landers. He didn't want to give the he did not want to give the land of free switching. That's what I meant to say. Doubles out on the landers. If he's max speed, that makes a lot of sense because no, if the scheme is max speed, the landers are still slower. So I'm not really sure what he predicted. Yeah, there goes his landers. That was weird. But yeah, low kick just gets a kill now. This game is still over. I guess he was just sacking something to get this ranger back in safely. I'm not sure. And low kick does actually pick up Magnuson from 88. Wow, I did not think that would kill. I think this is max attack run then. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I think a life surgic is 2 and 3. I think it was um, 1 and 2 in the first round. He's 1 and 0 now in the. Like he won this game in this uh, round 2 aka uh, quarterfinals. And I don't remember lefty score, I think it was like 2 and 1 or something like that in the first round. Maybe it was 3 though, I think it was 2 and 1. But yeah, the score that matters is uh, West is up 4 and 2 in this series. And I will be back late tar with. Mounts vs. Roses is like the only Sun and Moon Oyo game left. Uh, Mag Magnus dies is like a hype matchup, but I'm probably not going to be covering that because of the... There's going to be other games going on for Salmon Oyo or Oras Oyo that I'm probably going to be focusing on, like especially the Germany games. Um, yeah, Germany's up 2-1 at the moment versus uh, US East. Actually, did lose DPP earlier versus Shake It Up aka okay, Tsunami, which was uh, sad to see, man, but yeah. was about to expect that like was about to be expected that US East is gonna win some games it's gonna be hard for Germany I mean they're still up 2-1 but yeah the other series that are left um, oh the, the next game started between Germany and US East so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you with more World Cup coverage goodbye